welcome, welcome, welcome. 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 Blessings to you. Blessings. Secure, I see you. Mr. Booker, hello. Welcome to you, sir. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good afternoon. Open fire. Happy Friday. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Come on. It's Friday, y'all. Mother Coleman. Hey, Mother Coleman, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Come on in. We're waiting on a few more people to come on in. It's Friday, so we celebrating this fabulous Friday. So while we're waiting for a few people to come in, just join in with me and just celebrate God on today. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to wait for you just a few more seconds and then we're going to get going for the sake of time. Hallelujah. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. Welcome. Pastor Jeffries, how are you? Dr. Nicola, how are you? Hello, hello, Pastor Blood, Pastor Coffee. Hey, family, welcome. How y'all doing? All right, all right, all right. Just we're gonna get, go ahead and get started. I really appreciate you guys coming in on today. We're gonna get started with this. Get started with this, and we just ask, we just thank you guys for coming in and joining us. We ask that you just celebrate with us this Friday. And welcome to this fabulous Friday, and thank you for tuning in. I know you had a lot of other things that you could possibly be doing on your lunch break. I know you want to eat. I know you got other stuff you could be doing, but we just truly thank you for joining us on today. This is the day that the Lord has made, so I'm glad. I hope you're glad that it has happened. I'm also, this is the day that a few people have been waiting for. I know that you will be blessed on today. Hey, y'all, I'm Pastor Greg. I'm excited for today's Midday Motivation. Before I get started, I want to recognize, celebrate, and appreciate my spiritual father and mother, Senior Pastor Dr. Lincoln Coffee and Assistant Pastor April Coffee. I love y'all. I truly appreciate y'all and the impact that you have both made in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessing, Pastor Coffee. How are you? I love you guys. Okay, let's so so we can go ahead and get started. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we just bless you and we thank you for this time, oh God. God, we ask that you just come in, God. Come in and let your words go towards your people, God. Father, I ask right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God, that you speak for me, God. Speak through me, God. Speak to me, God. God, your people are listening, God, and they are ready to receive. Father, we honor you. We love you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, y'all. So we already know what time it is. It is midday motivation, and we just thanking God for what's about to happen. You know, Dr. Coffin just instilled some things into the past and said, hey, I want you guys to be pushed. I want you to be, I want you to be able to get, get motivated. I want you to be able to just put, help push other people. So right now, this is, today is my time, and you all know I don't go live, I don't talk a whole lot, I don't say a whole lot, so I am truly being pushed. But let's jump right into it. On last Sunday, Pastor Coffee's sermon was on Take Your Position and Stand Still. And he came from 2 Chronicles 10, I'm sorry, 2 Chronicles 20, 10 through 17, with a focus on verse 17. And that's ver that verse was, you will, have not, you will not have to fight this battle, take up your position, stand firm, and see the deliverance of the Lord will give you. Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out, face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. Hey, y'all, the word on today, y'all have had words all this week, motivation all this week, and I'm just going to try to catch up with these guys. Pastor Blunt, Pastor Philip, and Pastor Jeff, y'all just jumped right on in, and oh, I'm going uphill trying to keep up with you guys. But well, think about it, for far too long, those of us who have taken our legal positions in Christ, 
we have been slandered, we've been talked about, we've been criticized for doing and criticized for doing so. For what? I don't know about you, but I thought, and I'm just talking about me, I can't talk about you, but when I, God seated me in my rightful position, I thought all the hate was going to stop. I thought people were going to stop talking about me. I thought life was going to be easy. Yeah, that ain't true. The people who knew you, knew me, before I became in Christ, for some odd reason, don't want to don't want to look beyond my condition of who I used to be, and they trying their best to figure out how I got in this position. What we know and they don't is that our position gives us access that our conditions couldn't do. So now we're seeing that God is starting to transfer the wealth of the wicked into the hands of the righteous. I am living example of that. People of God. It is time for us now to get in position. Hey, I know I'm talking fast. I'm trying to talk slow because I do talk really country, but I'm trying to just slow it down, but I got a few minutes to get on, so I'm trying to get going. So people of God, we must get into position, stand still, and see what the Lord is doing. We must be prepared to be used, to be used in these perilous times and during these times of crisis. So how do we get there? Well, let me tell you. Throughout this week, we've been getting schooled on how to get there. It all started on Tuesday with Pastor Blunt when he came straight from one of Pastor Coffey's main points where he said that your position is not your condition. And, of course, everybody that knows Pastor Blunt knows that he got some kind of analogy. So he used a broken a cup analogy. And let me tell you, if you knew my condition this week, you would ask me how I'm on, on here on Facebook Live. See, what happened was, the enemy thought that he was going to take me out of position, causing me to be quarantined because of my current condition, hoping and wishing that one day or that this day will never come. What happened is it caused me to stand firm and gave me more time to solidify my position. Then Pastor Phil, as he so eloquently calls himself, told us not to take the bait. And lastly, Pastor Jeffries came in on Thursday and dropped the bomb on us saying that we must stand firm in our fixed position. So now we're in, that, we're in our position and we're ready to receive. Real quick, y'all, I'm going to talk about now we're in our legal position and it's time to prepare, for the har for, prepare ourselves for the harvest. So Andy Jazzy, who has been driving to work in his 1997 Jeep Cherokee, wearing blue jeans and a button-down shirt for the last 10 years, just became Amazon CEO in July 2021. Out of nowhere, nobody knew this guy, nobody knew who he was, not even a whole lot of people in the industry knew who Andy Jazzy was. But in an instant, in an instant because of his position, he received $275 million in stocks, a $350,000 annual salary, private jet, unlimited paid days off, and that's not even including vacation. He's still getting vacation on top of all that. So, people of God, we have entered into a time of release and unprecedented opportunities. Mm -hmm. And because we are now in our legal positions, we have access to all the perks and all that comes with this position. Um, Philippians 4.19 says, And my God will meet all your needs according to riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. In this position, the position that you, you have been put into, your legal position, in this position, you have access to all of God's riches of his glory. God will meet all your needs, both spiritually and materially. So, I mean, everything that you need, everything that you desire, everything that you want, because you are in right standing, and in the right position, God will provide it. No matter what it is, he's going to give it to you. See, God is infinitely, infinitely wealthy and never lacks the ability to provide for us. We just got to trust and believe that he's going to do it. He will give us everything we want. We just got to just stand firm, stand still. But he will also richly supply everything that we should have. God will manifest in our lives as long as we are in our rightful position. People of God, 
We have to stand firm in our rightful position. But I'll go even a little further. By his Holy Spirit, he'll give us insight, bright ideas, open doors of opportunity, place influential people in your life to meet and exceed all of those needs. Think about it. Who would have thought that me, I'm talking about me, Pastor Greg, would be back in school trying to go to med school? Guess what? God placed someone influential in my life. And now I'm back in school trying to go to med school. It's time for us to now surrender and be obedient and realize that God has placed us in a unique position at the right time and at the right moment. And then guess what? When the harvest is ready, it's going to cry for you. It's going to cry for the rightful owner. Hey, this is yours. Come get it. Come get it. You get one. You get one. Come get it. But you have to be in position and receive your harvest. Hey, I don't know, you know, what's happening right now, but I tell you what, life right now in 2022, we've gone into this year of release. And by God, I promise you that life right now for my family has been awesome. God has been releasing it to us. We are going spiritually. We're going financially. We're going all over. And just, I mean, look at open fire itself. We are growing. The people are growing. The church is growing. Like, look, we got a brand new building. We are there, y'all. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do. And I'm excited about what you are about to receive. Stand in position, y'all. Stand in position. Stay firm. No matter what comes your way. If it comes to you really hard, stand firm in your position. And I promise you, if you watch and see what the Lord will do, you are going to get your harvest. Hey, y'all, my time is up, but I pray that today's motivation will carry you over until we meet again right here on Midday Motivation. Hey, y'all, y'all be blessed. I love you guys, and I honor you guys. God bless you.